frustration in the third quarter, but overall, how happy were you to not see you guys go? Yeah, it was great. You know, I told our guys at halftime, you know, the, the edit we showed was all positive. And uh, my challenge was simple. Uh, understand why we're up and don't be bored with success. Don't be satisfied. Um, we knew that last five games, that team was averaging 35 points in the third quarter. And we've seen it. We've been up 28 against that team and lost. Um, and you knew that, you know, they were going to go small and try to junk the game up a little bit. And... We just had to be disciplined. And uh, you know, I took that quick timeout, and I felt right after that timeout, the guys responded. Um, it was two minutes and 20 seconds into the third quarter. They already had nine points. They had 15 the whole first quarter. And uh, you know, it was just, it's not about the score. It's about us create, creating the habits uh, that will hopefully bring us a championship at some point. Well, I, I think the two games that you allude to, the Boston game and tonight's game, uh, the defense. I mean, it's, you know, you guys should know me by now. Every, every question about us playing well is going to come back to defense because it's the truth. You know, I'm not making this up. Um, you know, tonight, that team coming in last five games, I think they were second in three-point shooting, over 41%. And they're making 15 and a half threes per game. We held them to five threes tonight. It's an incredible number. 91 points, which I think ties a season low for them. So the bench, when they can get stops like that, we had 30 fast break points tonight. You defend, you rebound, you run. It's a simple game, simple formula, and that's when we're really good. Coach, defensively from the very start, you guys were physical on the perimeter and really made them feel you. Was that what set the tone? Because, again, it's not the offense, like you just said. It seemed like the defense is what got them on their heels early. Yeah, I mean, we, we got defense into the game from the get-go. I mean, it was – Fun to watch and, uh, and, and kind of to set that tone to your point, TJ, to set it right away you know, not wait to get defense into the game. Um, and, and to do it you know, for as close to 48 minutes as we did tonight was really impressive. Um, you know, and, and that's who we need to be. You know, we, we have to be a team that is much more consistent on that end of the floor. You know, I think we're 15-3 and three at home now. Um, last 14 games, I think we're 11-3. and three. And our defense in that stretch is probably around, you know, just outside of top 10. Can we sustain that? Can we continue to inch, you know, from 28th to 24th to 20th to 15th? You know, that's our goal because we understand that if we're going to do the things that we've talked about doing, defense has to be at the forefront. Back to what you said in the timeout, it does seem like there's moments where it's a reminder that, like, it's not enough to win. It's not enough just to make the playoffs. It's not enough to play well in the playoffs. It is about winning a championship. And well, yeah, it's... Like well, I mean, that was just you know, the, the simple point was it's all about creating habits. You know what I mean? Like if you build a lead, you, take, you exhale, and then you start doing everything opposite of what built the lead, well, that's not going to help you, you know, come playoff time. Um, so, yes, it was, you know, simple message. Let's go back to doing the things that allowed us to be up as much as we were. But also not just for this game tonight, but big picture. You know, big games down the road. Um, you know, we want to create the habits that are going to allow us to win at a high level. And um, I thought once we kind of straightened that out after that timeout, I thought our guys were much better after that. Do you want that level of, of expectation from everybody? I mean, not only the team, the fans, the media, everything. Are, are you looking for that level of expectation? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, I'm worried about the 17 guys in that locker room. You know, uh, I'm worried, you know, me and my coach and staff have to do our job. I think we have tremendous fans. I mean, I, I think the fans, they bring it every night. Um, and listen, man, we're, we're 25 and 13, and we've had some really good wins as of late. Um, tomorrow's going to be a hell of a test against one of the top teams in the East. Second night of back-to-backs is where we you know, haven't been great. You know, but the best thing about tonight was we got some rest for our guys. And we weren't playing our starters 36 minutes. So hopefully that bodes well for tomorrow night. But, yeah, we're always striving for excellence. You know, that's, uh, that's something that we're always um, looking for and trying to demand from each other. I do. Yeah, I do. I, I think tonight definitely helped. Um, I know his goal is that he wants to get back to being able to play in both nights of a back-to-back. -back. And, um, you know, we talked about that, and I, my message to him was, well, let's get through the Clipper game first mm -hmm. and, you know, see how you feel after. 
and for him to go out there tonight, and I thought he was great. I mean, for early on, I thought he was – I was going to get him out, but that was one of those things is I'm not putting the fire out. You know what I mean? I'm going to let him roll. I got KCP out early to put him back in, and uh, sometimes I'll have to do with that. But I thought Jamal was, was terrific uh, all night long, and he only played 21 minutes. So hopefully tomorrow when he wakes up, he's feeling pretty good, and if we're able to play him some tomorrow night, um, we'll look forward to it. If he's not able to, you know, we'll get him ready for, uh, ready for the next one. Yeah, I thought, you know, both those guys definitely contributed at a high level. Uh, I, I think overall, like, Vlatko's had a, a really good season. I mean, he's helped us win games. You know I mean, like, you go back to the OKC game, uh, his defense on Shea Gilgis-Alexander, who right now will probably be a first-team All-NBA player. Um, the three that he makes in Dallas. Like, just, he's had so many different nights where he's contributed. And tonight, I'm looking at his stat line, 15 and 12. And I think the best thing about Vlatko is when you go to your bench, he's also a guy you can play through. Not, not to score necessarily, but he's a facilitator. He's a connector. He makes the right plays. And um, Zeke, great energy. You know, Moses Brown is a big dude. <laughs> you know, and I thought Zeke was fighting him and um, finished. He also rebounded. And I told him last huddle, I said, listen, you got five fouls. You cannot foul out of this game. And, uh, and he listened. So we, we were able to finish with that group. One more. Michael, how do you find the balance between letting these guys enjoy a performance like that and flushing with the game and tomorrow? You know, I, it's funny. It's a really good question. Um, I've been around people who you know, you would not allow themselves to enjoy the wins, to enjoy the moment. I'm not that guy. Um, but I'm also not going to have a party and celebrate. But I, I think life uh, and basketball, you have to celebrate the moments. You know, that was a hell of a win for us. Convincing win from beginning to end, and everybody contributed. Um, you know, we're in first place in the Western Conference. You know, we're not there yet, but we're on our way, and I like where we're, we're, I like where we're at, and more importantly, than any, I like who I'm going there with. Um, but, yeah, I mean, after the game, Michael Porter was our defensive player of the game. KCP fell out of his chair. You know, and, and so there was, uh, there, it was hilarious in the locker room. It's a moment to celebrate, feel good about. And then you say, okay, and tomorrow night we have a great challenge. So, you know, um, I, I'm not going to be that guy that goes in there and let's enjoy it. And then we wake up in the morning, we'll, we'll turn the page and get ready for Cleveland. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate, Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, everybody.